Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Hey, new intro. That's kind of cool. Uh, might keep that around. Uh, today's topic is, well, you could read Gundam, Witch of Mercury, or Suse no Majo. Um, this anime just ended on Sunday, and I just had to talk about it because, God, I love Gundam. Gundam is, ah, uh, chef's kiss. Also, if I start progressively losing my mind while throughout this video, just know it is 3 in the morning when I'm recording this. Why am I not asleep? I don't know either, man. Um, I should, but God, I, I decided to be like, hey, why don't I just record this video while I can? So we're going to talk about fucking Gundam. Uh, Gundam was amazing. First off, nostalgia immediately. I grew up with Gundam, like, it was something, like, a special connection I have with my dad, and it is great, just like, big ass robots, transforming, giant lasers, fucking, yeah, like, particles everywhere, it is awesome, that is like, my childhood right there, and the whole reason why I'm, I honestly ended up becoming like an engineer in the first place, because I was like, yeah, I wanna build a fucking war machine, <laughs> Uh, but no, this is definitely, like, has everything Gundam had, is known for. You know, fucking politics, of course, giant robots, of course, and freaking a lot of death. Like, so many people died, and it's actually crazy, because a lot of them were just citizens, and you're just like, shit. Wow, this is war. This really is war. That's why that's why it's like the kind of scary part of uh, the realism of how dangerous war is, especially when you have giant fucking space machines that fucking the anyways, but this one's special. You know why? Cuz lesbians. That's right. We have our first Yuri care uh Yuri couple. Is that the right word? Yeah, I think so. We have our first Yuri couple, which, oh shit, I need to write the names down. Ugh. Soleta and Mionine. Uh, these two are great characters. Genuinely great characters. Like, god damn. Like, ugh. The character, the character development on the main cast is just pristine with a T. Like, it is just so perfect. So, Soleta is the main character. Uh, she's the one that rides uh, Ariel, um, the gun, the main Gundam, and then Mionine is the, I guess the second, the main heroine of the anime. I guess she's the heroine. Yeah, I think Mionine is the bottom, and then like Soleta's the top in this situation. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. God, I'm losing my mind. Why am I recording this? God, I feel bad for myself who has to edit this video. Shit. So, first time we meet Suleta, she's with her mom, and she is just uh, literally a dog. Like, does not do anything unless told to, you know? So she's all like, yay, I'm at school. Like, this is wonderful. Like, I can finally experience that high school lifestyle. Yippee! You know, and then Mionine is all like, is like, oh, I so edgy dark like depressed and just be like i'm going i'm going to earth it's like why do you want to go to earth it's like because i want to it's like okay um so then but then eventually like how the school works oh shit i should have meant by the way uh there's gonna be a lot of spoilers god damn i always forget to mention the spoilers Ugh. How the school works is that it is based off of duels. Like, there's a lot of duels that happen between the students. And whoever is the champion has the marriage rights towards Miodine. And then first time we meet, so let the, she, of course, episode one, uh, her Gundam pops off. Crazy fucking tr animation. Which, oh my god, Sunshine and Bandai. God damn it, you're always smoking that fucking pack when it comes to those particle effects. God, so... Mm. I, I love Gundam. Uh, <laughs> so then literally episode one, it's like, Mionin is like, what? You ain't expecting a, like, fucking lesbian shit? And she, and Celeste was like, what? Anyways, uh, moving on. 
Uh, another character I want to talk about along these two is Guel because Guel. I don't know, man. I, I like. I swear, some of these words get lost names. These names get lost in translation. Um, Guel is an asshole, straight up asshole. Bullies everyone. He's like, ha ha, I'm the top. He's like, I'm the best duelist. And then Sleta pulls up with the aerial, and then boom, one shot's fucking over, and the Guel's like. Oh, I'm so terrible. But then, holy shit! Ah, Guel has the one of the greatest character developments I have ever seen in like anime. As in, no, that's a lie. I said that about fucking what what anime was I talking about? Oh shit, Skip and Loafer. Oh my god. Yeah. So Guel, a lot of things happen. He gets he eventually gets like shunned by society because his dad was all like. You are no longer like holding under the flat family name and oh yeah by the way uh his family and her family are like political figures of course yeah uh, so guel was all like this disowned from the family and then so then he was all depressed like society shunned him and then he was just working as a maintenance guy just like living his life as a common person and then some uh Crazy shit goes down, and then he ends up fighting his dad by accident without him knowing, and then he kills his dad. And then you look, and then he finds out, and he's like, Oh my god, I killed my father, you know, and just like all depressed. He's on earth, just like fucking slouched over, all like, like really wanting to die. But then, like, he just see, he sees like how these earthians have the people on earth, they're called earthians, and then people in space are called spacians. I don't know if that's racist or a slur, but I don't know. That's that's what they're called in the anime. Like he sees how the Earthians have been living, and he's like, "Wow, this is this is actually a fucking problem," you know. And then he's just so like, "I have the power to do something. Like I need to change. I need to grow." Like, and then in this in the anime is constantly said by Seleta, who brings this quote, like, "Susumeba futatsu." As in, like, if you step forward, you gain two. Like, but, like, if you stay back, you only gain one. So it's all about, like, pushing yourself to the limit. Exceeding, like, going beyond. Plus ultra! You know? Shit like that. So then, like, all these characters are able to grow as individuals. And Guel has a great character development. This man, just like, mmm, just so good. Like, uh, fuck, watch the anime. I know, this is a shitty explanation, guy, but god damn it, I don't fucking care. Next, uh, Soleta, her character development is one of the best as well. Is, is honestly almost, be I want to say better, but I don't know. I really like Guel's character change. Because Soleta's was expected. Like, she had to change. Because she was actually a robot. Like, she did not understand that killing people and smushing them just like completely pulverizing them, which she did at the end of season one, is not okay. Like, it's kind of fucked up and traumatizing, especially if you're doing it in front of your fiance. Like, that is demoralizing, you know? And then she's all bloody and it's all like, hey, I'm here, I saved you. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you psychopath, you know? And then she was just all like, and even Mionine understood that. And Mionine was all like, Yo, are you just gonna do everything your mom tells you to do? And then Selecta's all like, uh, yeah. And then they got in a huge fight. They break up. As in, like, Miodine, like, uh, has them duel again. But then she rigs it in a way that Guel would win. So then she'll be like, Selecta, like, you will be on your own. Like, you need to be on your own. Grow as an individual, you know? Like, this is for your own good. But that's what everyone says. Like even her Selecta's mom, who is all oh, who is evil as shit, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I don't alright, fuck this video. I don't care if it's all over the place. Good luck understanding this video, but I don't care. First off, Selecta's mom is a piece of shit, okay? This character right here is terrible. She is evil. All she cares about is her like she is driven by revenge alone because her entire family was ki and like her friends was killed by uh coincidentally uh her dad you know so then she's just all like haha how about i clone my daughter or no 
be, I, I clone my daughter, and which is Saletta, by the way, and then and her real daughter's name is Ari, and she's like, I'm gonna upload Ari into the data, like it's called like the data storm, and then she will just, and then I will destroy the world. I would destroy the universe and just like only have it be data. I have everything be data just so my daughter Ari can live happily. What the f Like that is really, really fucked up and I don't get it. Like it doesn't make sense. You are crazy. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know? But then eventually she gets her shit slapped around like by Saletta. She's like, mom, you're fucking crazy. Stop this. And then she's all like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Okay. Mionine. Third character. God, I went on a tangent. Uh, third character, Mionine, has another, like, her character development was slight in a way. But it's more of like, she just grew up and Mionine matured. That's the real, that's the correct word. Matured. Mionine matured a lot throughout the show. Like, she was a very selfish child at the beginning of the anime. And, like, even up to season one, or end of season one, where she was just all like, was all like, oh my god, my dad is dying. What do I do? Oh, uh, you know. And then, but then season two, she really picks up. She, like, uh, drags her feet, and she's just all like, I need to do this. Oh, no, no. I need to do this. I need to do this, you know. But it's but then eventually she something really bad happens as in a fucking massive terrorist attack on earth because and then like god fucking Selecta's mom is evil all right she is terrible and i'm still mad that she's alive i wish she died she should have died Selecta's mom like causes a whole ruckus on earth and then Miodin is like oh my god this is all my fault so many people died and then she gets all depressed but then baby girl Selecta pulls up and is like hey yo girl don't be like that and she's like okay yeah I'm like fuck <sighs> but god damn it this show was so good the music man the music oh god it is like an like so the soundtrack is mid like made the, the, the soundtrack is phenomenal Okay, like the orchestral pieces are just beautiful. It is epic. Like the word epic is the main focus of the soundtrack because god damn it, every time I hear it, I see myself fucking exploding with energy and about to shoot a laser beam out of my hand and then just cause an entire fucking ruckus in in space. You know, like just just like what happens at the end of the anime like season two ending final episode was so good like god damn the music hit hard now i'm gonna talk about the ending um a lot of characters died yes but none of none of the main cast members died unfortunately like i felt like someone should have died it would have meant more i felt like it would have been a lot more impactful as in uh, Selecta's mom should have died because it's kind of a way of cutting her tie, like officially cutting off, like what is it, it's like Selecta, you know, and just like let her grow as an individual. Plus, her mom is evil as shit, so like she should have died, you know, at least been arrested. But no, she's just like old and crippled now. But uh, yeah, no, like all the other. All the side characters, which I ha didn't even mention in this video because there's too many of them and I don't want to talk about them. Like, they all grew up. Uh, some of them had good character development. Some of them just stayed the exact same. Some of them we met at the beginning of the anime and still know nothing about them. But like in the end, it was just a really happy ending. And that is like my only complaint. Like This anime could have been a pure 10 out of 10 if somebody like died it was it was a little too happy which i should be happy about right but like because it's gundam of what gundam is you know as a story like it should have been like no like at least some people should have died you know like by all means fucking kill guel's brother this fucking 
douchebag with like his always holding his hair like that. Like, I don't care about this guy. He is stupid. He's childish, and doesn't grow up at all in the entire anime. You know, and like Guel fucking shows his older brother energy. He's like, yo, bro, like. Don't worry, man. I I will always love you. He's all like, brother. You know, but it's like, ah, oh, fuck off. Like, dude, you're such a... Oh, and then Shattuck, who is uh, one of the main villains, but he's not really a villain, more like a side villain. Um, He's just a fucking creep. I don't... Hmm. Yeah, he's just a weird guy. Like, I don't understand what he was doing. Like, or like, I understood his motive. Like, or like motivation like his whole motivation of terrorizing like space and then becoming a criminal was because he loved Mionine so much man love does crazy shit to some people god this video is all over the place in conclusion fuck in conclusion this anime is great watch it okay i know that i probably spoiled a ton of stuff but also just so like my explanation is terrible it's like 3 30 in the morning and uh i don't know what i'm doing in the closet instead of laying in bed scrolling through fucking twitter or something no this is great i love gundam music is amazing animation is pristine there was like one scene with cgi but like it was barely noticeable you know that just shows how much dedication and work is done and i just love that like it is a show created with love that is the correct word right there damn good job yuji ah thanks bro this is a show made with love and that's why i love it as well like you clearly see the dedication and work done to create this show and that is why I feel like it's so compelling to me. So yeah, no, definitely watch this. I know my video is terrible and I progressively lost my mind and it's progressively losing my mind. But yes, Gundam, Witch of Mercury, Kido Senshi Suisei no Mojo. Please watch. It's amazing. And it's been Yuji signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.